Okay. I, uh, I just noticed I had the resources to make a couple more neuromods, mods, and I looked things over, and I am totally, totally just gonna dump my points into increasing my health. It seems probably like a bad idea when I could just, you know, increase my damage, and be able to repair stuff, but we'll make do in time. We can grab this. And that'll set us up for a while. 150 health. 50 health boost is pretty significant. Scanning target, no alien material detected. That way I don't have to worry about getting instant killed by some of the scarier bigger enemies like the phantoms that we've we're running into more and more. So yeah. Gotta watch out for that. Get me another super repair kit. I'm finding a lot of random things. Whenever you stare at boxes long enough. I'm just trying to gather all the materials that I missed. Some of which I'm just going to promptly disassemble. But it's worth it. Being efficient. We're gonna deconstruct this entire station. I mean, it's what Morgan wants. Kind of? I mean, we don't really know our full motives. We were trying to be told our full motives, and then Alex ruined that. Ugh. Ooh. What's going on? Over here. A lot of station tech starts here. Lab equipment. Special parts requests. Prototypes. We should be able to fix your looking glass terminal from Dr. Calvino's workshop. I broke mine. I was hoping that we were just going to use a different looking glass terminal once we found the place where it was being prototyped. But if it turns out we actually need to, uh... Just use the one in my room. That sucks. Oh well. It's a 3D screen, so... You can kind of just look at it from any other corner. It's just not going to be as complete. Oh. The fuck? Are you serious? They assembled a glues man. Hello, my name is Mr. Gluey McGlueface. Wow. Alright, Mr. Gluey McGlueface. We're taking everything from you. Your resources will save this station. Feed this to an edge operator after you memorize. Group workstation's password. Macro 11. Macro 11. Neat. We have so many emails to read. You win. To whomever gave dear Mr. Gluey McGlueface arms, aka first shift, I bow to thee. At first I thought the jellied eel hat could not be topped. I stand corrected. Your triumphant creation of baseball glove hands cannot be equaled. Sincerely, the unworthy second shift. <laughs> hey, hello. This is a reminder that if you need supplies from the machine shop, the supply closet's code. I guess that's below us. The supply closet's key code is 4624. Frickin' sue the goddamn people who make this place. Even if it means me. Uh, test specimen preparation, the dimension shall be optimized for small-scale test chambers, operating at a whole lot of stuff. <laughs> Note, glue is still vitreophobic. What does all this stuff mean? We're, we're not gonna fully read that. As I am not a complete scientist myself. Oh, right, this wrench. Dismantled! It'd be nice if you could get an upgrade that allows you to recycle in your inventory. Now that, that would be worth throwing out 15 points for. But it doesn't look like you can get anything else. I think we legitimately have everything regarding materials. Uh, I mean, we could increase our uh, how much health we get from med kits and food items, but besides that... We get every- we get 20% more receding. I'm, I'm surprised we didn't get like a 50% increase. I just want as much resources as possible. Whoa. What is this saying? 
Transtar info. Connecting at the macro scale. Ooh. This one's an important email. We'll read that one last. Eyes and ears. Thaddeus, please keep an eye on Franklin. The man spends far too much time on personal projects and recreational pursuits. We're all human here. I get it. But I'm worried he may try to use the propulsion system to access unauthorized areas. <laughs> I know that's what I'm gonna do. Hey, did you lose this? Hey, this is Gus down in Cargo Bay. I found something curious in an outbrand container on my shift. I think it's a fabricator plan for an aut autonomous turret. It was stashed with a bunch of old capacitor cells slated for delivery to the Pythias facility. It might have been an accident, but I don't know. One of the officers put it in a safe in the life support security station. If you want it back, talk to them. Neat. Autonomous turret. Thaddeus, Dr. Calvino isn't feeling well enough to present the latest looking glass tech to our visitors, so I'll be away from the labs for an extended period. I left everything in working order while I'm out, but just in case, I'm sending you the key code to my office. It's 4677. Okay. Well, we've got a couple of key codes now. We're gonna need to... Descend and explore. Did we read this one already? Yes, okay. <laughs> we did it while hiding because we didn't know what was gonna happen. There's definitely another phantom in this area. Because, uh, floating drones don't make footstep sounds. Oh, nice. Downloading area map. What do we got? Okay, <laughs> this place is big. Very big. There are a couple of power kiosks. Um, an operator dispenser. There's a fabricator and recycler on the second floor. Ooh. Hopefully they're actually fully running. That would be swell. And in the basement, the demonstration stage, there's another recycler. Good, 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 good. I'm gonna make my way towards them instead. Unlock security locker. Oh, nice. Okay. We just got 30 bullets from this. That's ridiculous. I am going to dismantle this one. Get my, my spare parts. We actually have a lot of spare parts after I grabbed the ones from the safe. We have 35. I mean, we can end up using like six or nine on one thing, so it's not that big of a deal, but it, it's getting up there. All right. While we're here, I'm gonna upgrade. Uh, da, 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 da. Reload speed? Uh, maybe increase ammo capacity. I'd actually like to just throw my points purely into firepower, but we need to upgrade for that. Maybe I should just save it for that, actually. But we can upgrade my pistol's first level of damage. But yeah, some of these aren't really terribly worth it in the short term right now. In the long term, maybe eventually, it'll be greater to have uh, more bullets to spam at enemies. But at the moment... Some of these are more worth it. With the pistol, this is definitely... This has a little bit more option. Range, accuracy... That's pretty good. But with the shotgun, I pretty much only really care about the firepower. Four bullets is plenty, for the most part. Of course, I'll keep on trying to increase it, but, uh... I make do. I hope I don't just I didn't just screw myself over in the future. I was trying to save my points for a while, so that way if I found like a better gun, I could take advantage of that. But I guess we'll just have to hope that we find more upgrade kits in the future. I'm sure there's a finite amount of them though. That's the scariest. Thing. Ah, fucking piece of shit. Ooh, there's a new mod here. <laughs> Almost missed that. We 
Where is this phantom? Where the fuck is it? I hear it, but I don't see it. I hope it's not one of those invisible bastards. He's in the hardware testing room. Okay. Oh, hi. <laughs> I found a random dead body up here. And Yanked is your neuromod. Thank you, random exploration. A game that properly rewards me for just jumping on everything I see. I don't see this guy. You know what? I think maybe we're just still further below. I think we're about to get to the demonstration stage, which is more B1 than level 1. Hmm. I don't know, though. Hello, what do you have? Shotgun ammo, an employee entrance card, and bourbon! Jesus. These people had fun here. Ah, there we go, Clive Lawrence. Well, Clive, we're gonna put on a show. There's no one here to watch it but you and me. Hmm. Yeah, I figured the glue canister was gonna be used here. Ah, the glue caster can put out fires, not just block fires. Nice. Okay. Ooh, more spare parts. Can I get up in here? Probably if I use a glue canister gun. Hey. hey. Well, this is a decent angle to get into this room. There's a phantom on this level, though. Messing him up when we find him. Where'd he go? Yeah. We're going back down for now. We can drop some resources, dismantle a wrench. Okay. Spare parts are important. Eventually. There we go. So I don't think I can jump through this window. Yeah, it's completely blocked off. By shielding technology! So I'm gonna have to get into there from that direction, probably. Ah. <sighs> oh well. I was ready for a throwdown in this particular area. But, looks like we'll just have to make do with this place over here. That's not good. <laughs> but you can't go through the door, so ha <laughs> Boom! Enjoy the turret! Oh, Jesus. Oh. Uh -huh. He too shot of the turret. That's rough. Damn it, I can take the psy hypo. Uh. Well, there's a recycler on this level. So, or on the level above us. If I rush to there, ah, it's too far in. At least that's what I feel like. Get to fucking inventory limits. Okay. I'm gonna eat the banana jelly deals. And I, there we go. Turn in my resources. I'm sorry, little turret. I didn't. I didn't run through that before, so it completely caught me off guard. 
God. Damn metal detectors detecting metal and all of my copious amounts of guns. I think not, little mimic. I think not. Little bastards respawning in the area. I'm just trying to turn in my items. That's uh, a big hole. <laughs> That's an unfortunate thing that I've done. <laughs> it's so satisfying. Now, this was a key card door, right? Yes. Damn it. <laughs> I just want access to the general access. Uh. Sorry, really expensive, awesome viewing door thing. Scanning target, no type and material detected. They have to make do with what we've got. Okay, well, with my inventory slightly cleared up, we can continue our general exploration. I think my next upgrade is going to be continuing my inventory train as much as I want everything else, like being able to repair turrets and or fortifying turrets or decreasing how much it costs to repair a recycler. Uh, this is pretty cheap, and even this is pretty cheap for six. I think this will be my next two. The more I don't have to run back to drop things off, the happier I can be. Okay. By working through a series of practical experiments, this humble manual will introduce you to the fundamentals of modern analog and digital electronics. Uh, I read that one. That was in my apartment. Ooh. Ballistics lab, chemical lab. Um. What the hell happened here? Recycler charge. Recycler charge room is fine. Hey, look, there are a couple of mimics trying to, like, get themselves out of there. Oh, I want to use the experiment and kill them really, really badly. Hmm. Hello. Ooh. Well, there you go. We got a key card. For the ballistics lab. Exterior breach detect beyond this point. Uh. <laughs> no oxygen. Temperature. 3.27. Yeah, we're fine. Let's go here. How y'all doing? Well, that would be a shame if somebody pressed a button and just completely ripped you apart. Is this supposed to be the more formal introduction to the recycler charges? Hmm. Recycler or EMP charge in grenade container. Oh. I see. Well, release recycler charge. And the mimics disappear! All right! Convenient. I like how it gave us the option to, uh... To open it, but, you know, before actually sucking them into exotic materials. No, I'm good. What is this? Employee Lily Morris. Description. Recycler charge went off with my foot in range. The agoric material that was once a part of me is now neatly compacted into the sphere you see before you. Take heed. Ugh. Oh, that's gross. Ugh. Yeah. Well, thank you for the free recycler charges. How many do I have? I have five recycler charges and... four EMP charges. As well as a Typhon Lure. I should use the Typhon Lure... If I ever see, like, 50 Mimics in a room, I'm gonna totally Typhon Lure them in and blow them up. Save my sandy a little bit. Uh, oh, hello. For Lily, new code is 1631. 
For what? Ballistic safe. There's a safe? But where? I don't think it's behind this. Okay. Hello. Breach fail safe. <laughs> it looked like it might be able, I might be able to do something with it. There is a control panel. But I think we're fine for now. We just need to find that safe. 1631. Ah, here we go. Whoops. 1631! Woo! A whole exotic material. That's good. Unknown material. Lily, I was testing the recycler charge and something peculiar happened. I placed the usual source material into the chamber and set off the charge. Mixed in with the result was something I've never seen before. A purple, almost more organic looking substance. Maybe something contaminated the source material? I'm unsure how to proceed, so I've placed the unidentified material in the safe for now. <laughs> Alright. Lily, I've been informed you're in need of an updated recycler charge fabrication plan. It just so happens I have a plan, or a spare plan in my quarters. Remind me next shift and I'll bring it down. Okay. So... We can start making recycling charges ourselves. Ow! Really? Stupid scope? Telescope? Dr. Thornstein? I think we already got that blueprint. <laughs> we kinda killed him already. He was an alien. Sort of. Give me the free red kit. Thank you. Alright. I don't know if there are any more enemies around this particular area, but obviously it's good to be cautious. Oh. Uh. No. I think that worked. <laughs> Important. Log every time you enter their maintenance crawl space through the access panel. Leaky pipe, unexplained light flicker, unable to locate source. Uh, electrical device near machine, shop door unstable, use local adhesive for temporary fix. Notes. In case of emergency, head into the maintenance crawl space via the small access panel below to shut off local power. Uh, okay. So we can turn off the power. and fix the device, or get fucking ambushed in the dark, you know? Well, ain't that awkward. <laughs> what a good time it would be to have the repair module. Uh-oh. We got a couple more operators sitting here. Yes, use the security station to discover Dr. Calvino's location. Hmm. Will he be a monster? I don't know. Oh, this oh fuck. Shitty I don't know where the mimic went. That's fine. Make do. And we could be like super sneaky. We're gonna try. I mean, look how far down we can go. Now, this is crazy stuff. Uh, Morgan Yu is incredibly flexible. There's a mimic in this room, and I don't know which one he is going to be. Disintegrated circuit found new instructions. Two operators, one mimic. Oh, I can mark them. Oh, well, that's good. I didn't know that was an option. Now, if we ever have a room where there's like 15 operators going all over the place, we can keep track of them all. Okay, it does not care about sounds happening right behind it. 
Files corrupted. List. Serious. Service. Servo. Alright, I'm trying to- I want to take it out before his friend comes back. Logging self-diagnostic. List. Tag. Oh shit, there's a third one. I didn't expect the third one to get up off the ground like that. I saw it, and I saw the light on it, but I was like, yeah, well, it looks like it's destroyed. Ugh. Alright. I used a lot of my shotgun ammo there. And a lot of my pistol ammo, too. I expected my shotgun sneak attack to, like, instantaneously take out the operator because I kind of just assumed the operator wouldn't be as tanky as a phantom. I was wrong. Every airlock has a manual seal you'll have to disengage before you can spacewalk. While engineered as a safety measure, it's irrelevant when the enemy is already inside the station. <laughs> if you do go out there, I wouldn't stray far. The Typhon may have spread to the exterior. And remember, may. Other airlocks you find will have to be opened from the inside, first. Last thing. You don't have a propulsion system for your suit yet. You'll need one to maneuver. Yeah, alright. I'll need to- there probably- there's probably one in this area. The thing that was talked about before. Okay, preliminary tests with an increased spring constant are proving promising, but it's tricky getting fabricators to make them stiff enough, but not brittle. Another option is scavenging cargo brought up from Earth. Thornstein's assistant has an agile eye, though. Entry 4, Supplemental. Dear Clive's Diary, He's just trying to impress Mary by coming up with an improvement to her toy gun design. Even if he was smart enough to improve on her work, she'd never give him the time of day. Entry 4, Supplemental, Supplemental. Supplemental. I'm well on my way to figuring out how the hell to increase the range and stay the hell out of you- <laughs> And stay the hell out of my journal, Franklin! <laughs> uh... Preliminary test with an increased spring constant proving promising. It's just that stupid crossbow. Uh, find Artex uh, propulsion system fabrication plan. Yep, see, that's what we were hearing about. The Huntress is ready. Okay, guys, I think it's ready to go now. I've dubbed it the Huntress Bolt Caster. Clive, I think I, 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 Clive, I love your idea for capacitive tips on the bolts. Send me a technical spec and I'll incorporate it into the ammo fabrication plan. Those tips will activate any touch screens they hit. I've gathered a lot of trash for feeding the fabricator, so we can make some of these after after work and try them out. <laughs> they purposely planned to make them so they could activate touch screens from a distance. That's funny. Uh, please do, but it's not my responsibility. It's Morgan's. Uh oh. Have you looked into the operator dispenser logs and the missing parts? Every operator on the station needs to be accounted for. I bring it up with Alex next. Yeah, my bad guys. Doctor Thornstein, or it's Thorstein, not Thorn. Uh, Doctor Thorstein. I check the Neuromod stamps and the lattices in the fabricator and both check out. There's no obvious failure in the components. I may need to disassemble the machine. It's possible there's something in the specs Igway's using that's causing the failure rate? Hard to believe, Igway's pretty thorough, but we all make mistakes. I'll keep working on it. Maybe there's something uh, maybe there's something specific about that batch. Weren't there a few scrambled ones last cycle too? Glide, thank you for the update. I'll handle it from here. What is this about? Fabricator malfunction. Oh. Well, maybe I can fix it up for y'all. And by y'all, I mean myself. Oh, <laughs> look at that. It just points immediately to the the fabrication plan. I wonder where the fabrication plan could be. Oh. Neato. You know. Transtar uniform guide. Your Transtar uniform has been designed for your safety, comfort, and to facilitate your work. The uniform must be worn at all times while on board the station. While every effort has been made to make Talos a comfortable and safe place, there is always the chance of an accident or hazard. Departmental assignments can be determined by uniform style and color. Brown and black, corporate and administrative. Green and white, science and technology. Orange, engineering and maintenance. And blue and black, security. What am I? I'm like red. I don't count. Oh. Fabrication plan for the Hunter's Boltcaster! 
Change log, noise reduction on trigger action. Still a bit too clacky for my taste. Decreased weight while retaining structural stability. No more barrel splintering. And finalized name to Huntress Boltcaster. Rejected Clive's suggestion of pain thrower. When Franklin's exec excruciator. <laughs> That's funny. Alright, increased accuracy of the bolts, reworked lattice structure of the foam so it's less likely to crumble in your hands. Attempts at reducing impact noise are still fruitless. Integrated Clive's change to a flexi foam formula. <laughs> These engineers are just having a good old fun time. Okay. Well, let's see what this takes. A repulsion module for microgravity maneuvering, which can be attached to your transform or transtar uniform. Also assist with jumps in normal gravity. Neat. 